Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put your textures into cycles and get them all working together. So that will be your normal textures, your specular sort of maps, yeah, diffuse and ambient occlusion. So we'll be putting all of those together in one material. A while ago, I did a similar video, but that was only for Blender Render or the Blender Game Engine. And now recently with Andrew Price's uh, Christmas competition, I've sort of gone and marked around a bit more cycles and come across this sort of thing. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here, click File, New, open up a new file, press X to delete the cube, then press Shift A and add a plane, press S to make it bigger, down here, uh, so S to make it bigger, so S for scaling, then up here change it to cycles render, GPU, if you have a proper GPU, then we can call it test instead of plane, and uh, click new for new material. Then we're going to select image texture, and before we open that up, we're going to select our lamp here, click use nodes, and we're going to give it a bluish color, just light blue. Then we're going to press Shift D, G, X, and add another one. This one's going to be a yellow color, so not too yellow, maybe a little bit orange as well. So this one's going to, we're going to press G, Y, and G, X, or just drag it. And we'll put that in this corner. And then do the same for this side, put it in the corner over here. So now if we go down here and change it to rendered, we should see a lovely pink plane. That only happens if you don't have an image text to do though. So we're going to click open and go to our downloads. Now you'll need to have put a texture through the insane bump. So I've done this with the other one I did the demo on. So just this, and then I'm going to press tab, you unwrap, unwrap that, and then change it to texture view, and then SY, scale it out a bit, and now if we go into a render view, you can sort of see what it's going to look like. There's also a little preview window here, which we could work a little bit from, but uh, the materials and cycles are very, very node based, so we're going to have to do some work in the node editor to get our material how we want it. So make a new window and click down here, node editor, and then press N to hide the window over here. And now what we want to do is first of all add our normal map. So we're going to press shift A, we're going to do image texture, then we're going to click open image and we're going to go into our downloads or wherever you have that specific texture. Now if you, you are using Insane Bump it should put out four different types of normal map. So I think yeah, high normal, low normal, medium normal and then it just generates a overall normal normal. <laughs> um, so yeah I'm just going to use that because I don't have any use for these otherwise normal one seems to work fine. So I'm going to open that up. Then I'm going to press Shift A and we're going to go to Vector, select Normal Map and add one of those in. Join the color to the color and in the Diffuse uh, node we're going to join the normal to the normal. So now if we go Rendered you can see it sort of has quite a bit of bump. So what previously you could sort of do, um, what I tried to do is, this is the way that doesn't really work, is if you go convert a math and then say multiply, and then you join the color to one value and then the value to the displacement. And yeah, it doesn't, I mean, you, you get really small bits and pieces, but it doesn't really look that great. Uh, there was also, yeah, there's also, if you use that normal map node and 
you put that in the displacement, it, I mean, it works a little bit better, but it still doesn't look very great. So that's why we don't use those, and that's why we plug this into the diffuse. And there we go, looking very nice. So now we're going to select our image texture here, press Shift D to duplicate, and move it over here. Going to click Open, and this time we're going to get our specular map. So it should have all our modified textures here. And I think it's one of the last ones with S just before the dot JPEG, which stands for uh, specular. So we're going to click Open. Then we're going to press Shift A, and we're going to add a mix shader. We're going to join that up, and Shift A again, add a glossy, and we're going to join that up as the second one. Now it looks sort of funny in this bit window, uh, but we need to join the color from here into the factor. So this will determine which parts are glossy and which parts aren't. So uh, yep, that will sort of look like it's got snow or something on it. So we'll turn down the roughness to zero, first of all. Uh, we can, yeah, you can see it's sort of getting some nice gloss around there, but it's still way too, in, way too intense. So we're going to move this up here, and then press Shift A, uh, Converter, Math, and click in there. Then we're going to select Multiply. Now we can never say on how much, yeah, gloss we want on the material. So if we set that to nothing, there's no gloss, and if we set it to one or even above that then there's lots of gloss so I think a value of around 0.3 or 0.2 work quite well so something like that then now we've got our diffuse we've got our bump we've got our specular now we only need the ambient occlusion so this is sort of a bit more uh, it's a bit more optional you don't it makes, might make the texture look a bit better, it might make it look a bit worse. So select this image texture here, the original diffuse, uh, which is plugged into the diffuse node. Then we're going to press Shift E and move it up there. Click Open and go into our downloads or we have the texture. And this time we're going to find the one with A, just before the dot JPEG. A for being ambient occlusion then that will open up that texture there then we need to press shift a under color select mix rgb join that in there and then join this one to the color as well then we're going to select multiply and there you go that should be working you can test if that's the right way around i think that's the proper way and there you go now you can add ambient occlusion to the texture, so that sort of, I don't know, makes it look a little bit darker in some spots. Uh, but yeah, so I think with the ambient occlusion, something something around 0.4 look quite nice. But again, yeah, depends on the environment you're putting it in and a whole lot of other stuff. So there you go guys, that's how to set up the texturing in Cycles from Insane Bump. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, it's the end of the tutorial, feel free to like, share, comment, whatever, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.